the Pac-12 South. Let's jump into that. We already went through the North. We already went through the Big 12 today. The Pac-12 South. I don't know what to make of this division either. <laughs> I I've, I don't know what to think of some of these. Di- Man, let's just jump into it. Let's jump into Arizona. 7-5 and five last year. They, they're over under this year, 7.5. And, and they are minus 130 to go over the 7.5. They got eight starters back on offense, nine on defense. Kevin Sumlin takes over at head coach. He brings offensive coordinator Noel Mazzoni with him. He was the UCLA offensive coordinator from 2012 to 2015. Everything starts and stops with quarterback Khalil Tate. I Rich Rod got let go at a weird time. Like a bunch of off-field stuff, right? Just it's super weird. But so back to Khalil Tate. Rich Rod knew how to knew what to get out of Khalil Tate initially. <laughs> You got kind of glossed over the off field stuff, but it was, I mean, it, yeah. it was kind of legit. It seems I mean, like it was legit. Yeah, it seems a little. You got you can't do that. There was some funky stuff. There's that's a all reason right. he didn't get a job. Like yeah. You know, he's he's uh, done. But that's okay. Yeah. I think they got, look, I, I always liked Rich Rod. I think they got an upgraded quarterback or a coach. I think you're probably right. I like, but I always defended someone in the SEC. The SEC West, when he was there, was at the strongest point I remember that conference ever being. Ole Miss was and good. Then when Mississippi it was, State was good. LSU was good. And Arkansas went through spurts where they were good. And Auburn and Alabama just kind of reigned at the top for so long. And he still won eight games consistently. Yeah, he did. He did. He um, won't play that schedule here. No, you're right, but he's still got some teams that he's got to do, and he ain't got the talent that he had at Texas. Well, yet. no, he doesn't, but other than Johnny Football, he's got the best quarterback he's ever had. I think you're probably right on that. Uh, talking about Khalil Tate, look, he ran for 327 yards against Colorado in his, in his first game, ran for 230 against UCLA in his second game, and then ran for 118 combined against Oregon State, Oregon, and Arizona State to end the year. Tate's a so, junior. It seemed like they no, I think he's uh he was a true freshman last year, I think. Oh, oh wow, he's young. Yeah, he's sure. really I didn't young. realize he was that young. Um so yeah, he's like there's still stuff to work on with him. There's only two starting offensive linemen back, the center and the left tackle, but all the skill positions return. And yeah, well, they've got a new running back. But experience at running back. That's right. Uh Sumlin kept Arizona's defensive coordinator, um Yates for his third season. He was uh, the former Boise defensive coordinator. They improved from 38.3 points per game to 34.4, so that's something. All right. I guess. I mean, you're still giving up 35 points a game, so to win, you got to score 36, I guess. But, you know, look, I, I like Arizona this year. I think their schedule sets up pretty well for them. Uh, I've got them 8-4. and four. Like, I've got them going over the 7.5, and, and even I was surprised. I got them eight and four also, and I really wanted them nine and three. I just didn't have the stones to to make it. I got them. I got Let's them beating be Oregon, honest. but my my losses are USC at Utah at UCLA and at Washington State. So I've got them beating Oregon. I got them beating. Uh, I got them winning at Houston early in the year. Got them beating Colorado. Be, beating Cal. Like there's there's a lot to this. Um, but yeah, eight and four. I think it's pretty good. Well, it's a good start, and man, now I kind of even feel better about that. I'm I'm very curious to see how someone does with this team and then how he recruits there because he was always a really good recruiter. Yeah, if he can get talent, man. Yeah, he could he could before, do really well before here. Tate's gone. He could be they could be scary. Yeah, what did what you have, Matt? I got eight and four as well. Eight and four. Okay, Arizona State last year seven and five, just like Arizona. Their over under this year is four and a half. Not too many people thinking highly of the new coach. It doesn't seem like they are minus one thirty to go over four and a half. So they expect them to go over. Uh, starters, they got seven starters back. They got four back on defense. Todd Graham was fired at, like, literally right after he beat Arizona 42-30. to After they beat their rival. Nobody has any clue why this guy was fired. So, it, it was after a 7-5 and five season. And, look, I mean, he took them to, like, five bowl games in six Se- years. 7-5, and five, like, they, they went over their expectations. Yeah, they, they did pretty well. Uh, but I think Arizona State wanted their expectation to be higher, which. So, they went out and got, hang on. Like I, I don't. We we have to talk about this though. They hired her. They hired Herm Edwards. They hired Herm Edwards, and they didn't fire anybody else on the coaching staff. Well, here's the thing: they wanted to keep the coaching staff. They just wanted Todd Graham gone. Uh, 
everything that I've heard, Todd Graham is difficult to work with. See, okay. that bothers me, though. All these great yeah. coaches that keep getting let go of jobs because they're hard now, to work with. I'm not saying that Todd Graham is a great coach. Well, okay, but you're I think right. he's okay. I think when he was pretty good. When you're Arizona State and you let go of a really good coach because he's difficult to work with, yeah. no, bad things are coming. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. So, I got him 2-10. and ten. Screw those guys. I got him 3-9. and nine. I got him two and seven in the conference. I got him beating uh, UT San Antonio, but uh, losing at uh, San Diego State. I got him losing to Michigan State, losing at what? The opening stretch is insanely difficult. Uh, but I got him beating Oregon State, and I've got him beating UCLA late in the year because that just seems like a game that you know UCLA can end up losing. Because I mean, it's at Arizona State, whatever. Uh, who knows what this team's going to be like? I, Manny Wilkins returns a quarterback. Yeah. Uh, the backup quarterback Blake Barnett transferred to South Florida. Uh, former Bama guy. Uh, Herm was hired with the the idea that he would be the CEO, right? And they didn't want to get rid of their coordinators. They wanted to keep the coordinators because they love the coordinators. But offensive coordinator Billy Napier took over the Louisiana job, Louisiana Lafayette, and defensive coordinator Phil Bennett. I don't even remember where he went. Um, but both of them left. The new OC is Rob Likens. He was the wide receivers coach last year. The defensive coordinator is is uh, Danny Gonzalez. He was San Diego State's defense coordinator the last seven years. That's a good hire. Yeah. Good hire. So I think maybe, like, Herm Edwards is a good coach. He's a good motivator. But I think Todd Graham got a lot out of this team. He was, that, he's been out of coaching for a long time, man. Herm? Yes, he I has. Mean, and, he, is, and he hadn't been in college football since, like, 89. Yeah. I mean, this is. It's weird. This is kind of crazy. I, I It'd be fun to see him do well. I don't dislike Herm Edwards. This is not a shot or a knock at him, but man, I can't. I just I can't fathom this team being good with all the chaos that ensued because Todd Graham might have been an asshole. I, you're right. Like I just don't get that. I, I don't, don't understand it. Um, tell me this. Knowing like how crazy things get in night games in the Pac-12, like, you know, hashtag Pac-12 after dark, would it surprise you if Michigan State went in there and got beat? Like, it's something, oh, no, that's not happening. Something crazy, that's, like a 27-24 game, like a last-second field goal, no. last-second interception. Yeah, that would, that would surprise me completely. That's not happening. Okay. I could see them doing that to one of these Pac-12 teams because it's Pac-12 after dark. Michigan State is going to be one of the best teams in the country this year. Okay. okay. I think I think they're tough. I think they're going to be really physical, and I don't think the Pac-12 teams are used to that. Let's move on to Colorado. Let's talk about a, a, a tough team. Okay. Five and seven last year. They got three starters back on offense, three or six starters back on defense. They're over under is five. They are minus one twenty-five to go over the five. Uh, Mike McCarthy's uh, Buffaloes have a strange trajectory: four wins in his first season, two wins in his second season, four wins in his third season, ten wins, and then five last year. So, I don't know where the 10 wins came from. They they had a great defense. Jim Levitt was was wonderful and it kind of makes you think like, okay, does does he need to really do something this year? Like or do you think they'll just keep him anyway? I mean, it's No, I think oh, I don't think that's a Like if he goes 5 and 7 again, do they I don't think they fire him, no. I don't know, man. But, I mean, this is not but I don't I don't look at Col- and I could be completely wrong. I don't look at Colorado as one of those schools that's just Pulling the trigger if you don't win a game a season, you know. Well, no, but like it, you know, for what they're paying them, you know, bowl game at least. Like uh, we're we're talking. What do you got? Losing, him what do you got, got him going? I've, he he's got a losing season in four out of five years, okay. and the one year was like really good. They got quarterback Stephen Montez back. That's about it on the offense. Uh, besides two offensive linemen back, defense should be better near two under Kentucky defense coordinator DJ Elliott. Correct. Uh, they are adding running back. Uh, like let's see, McMillan grad transfer. He had over two thousand yards rushing in three years at Virginia Tech, so that's good. Uh, but I just don't see it, man. I got they, him they seven got, and five. I got him five and seven. So I think he's gonna be better. I think the fact that they're not bringing all those offensive players back, their offense is gonna be better. I don't know that the guys that they lost were were great. I mean, we obviously know they weren't great. That's yeah. I mean, they they weren't great. Um, but only three starters back on offense isn't, isn't good. I don't know, but but if they're not good, then then why is inexperience a bad thing? It's it's not a bad thing. I I just I don't know. They they haven't recruited well. I don't know what they're going to do. 
So five, five and seven to seven and five, any of that is oh, totally possible. You're, you're exactly right. Yeah. I have I have no idea about any of these teams. Yeah. No, we we prefaced that. Yeah, we're you're right. Uh, let's jump into UCLA. Let's go on and get into this. Six and six last year. They got rid of Jim Mora Jr. Uh, five and a half is their over under this year. They are minus one twenty to go over five and a half. Four starters back on offense, six on defense. None of that matters because they are like they're implementing a brand new system. My man, completely Chip Kelly, brand new. Back in football, yep. Chip Kelly returns to college. He was at his best. He was forty six and seven in Oregon between oh nine and two thousand twelve. Michigan grad transfer Wilton Spate. Look, he's been taking the most snaps with the ones, but they still haven't announced a starter. Quarterback Darian Thompson Robinson is absolutely the future of this program, but it, he's, I mean, he's a freshman. So, like, it's its going to take time. Defense coordinator uh, Jerry Azanero was uh, with Kelly as a defensive line coach at Oregon all the way through the NFL. They should improve after they gave up 36.6 points a game last year. They, they've got talent on defense. Yeah. So if he can get them to buy in, then they should be much better than that. This year is going to be a rebuild. Kelly hadn't been in college in five years, and his offense takes a, a little bit, and the schedule is just really difficult, really difficult. I mean, they got games at Oklahoma. They got Fresno State coming in, Cincinnati, at Colorado. Non-conference um, is tough. Yeah, it, they, it really They don't is. have any gimmies in non-conference. And, and their home schedule is Washington, Arizona, Utah, USC, and Stanford. It's like, not easy. Not easy. <laughs> so you, none of, your 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 gimme games or the games that you should win are all on the road. Yeah. Like that's tough. I I like UCLA a little bit. I think they're going to get a little better towards the end of the year, but that doesn't even necessarily equate into wins. I've got them six and six. I got them four and five in the conference. Got them eight and four. I love Chip Kelly. I think he's an absolute genius. If you look at the NFL, if you look at the Philadelphia Eagles winning a Super Bowl, they won a Super Bowl doing exactly what Chip Kelly was trying to do. Yeah. RPOs, just just all this weird gimmicky stuff, and now every offense in the country is about to go to it. Well, and they I, and they won no, with his quarterback, no, right? Yeah, no true. That, yeah, with his guy, guy he yeah. won ten games with. No true genius is truly respected or appreciated until they are gone. And I don't know that the NFL will ever look kindly at Chip Kelly in his history, but they need to understand he is the founder of bringing that offense to the NFL. You are 100% he sh- right. He should get credit for it. He absolutely should get credit for it. I love this man. I think the defense is good enough to keep him in games, and I think he's good enough as an offensive coach that he's going to find ways to win. I got him 8-4. and four. I like this team. USC better buckle up because in a year or two, they're taking this division. Dang. You're probably right. You're probably right about that. That man is the most competitive coach I've ever listened to or watched. Now you, yeah, I think you are entirely right about that. And I like him a lot better than Clay Hilton, which leads us to USC. 11-2 and two last year uh, before the bowl game. They're over under this year is 8.5. They are minus 115 to go over. Uh, six starters back on offense, seven starters on defense. Clay Helton enters year three. He needs to replace quarterback Sam Darnold, running back Ronald Jones, and a, a bunch of talent, right? A lot of guys left. Quarterback Matt Fink is going to get the early start, but true freshman JT Daniels is obviously the future of the program. Uh, all five offensive linemen are back. That's a good thing. They, they had a pretty good offensive line last year. They've got seven seniors on defense starting. Um, running back Stephen Carr should be awesome. Wide receiver Taylor Vaughns, linebacker Cameron Smith, the defensive back I'm in, uh Marshall. Those are all names you need to know. This team has a bunch of talent. I don't know what I think of Clay Helton as a coach. I think this team has a lot of talent. The schedule sets up okay. I got them 9-3. and three. My, my losses are at Stanford, at Texas, and at UCLA. That's so crazy. <laughs> I've got them 9-3 and three as well. We don't have a single same loss. Really? Not one. So you got them winning at Stanford and at Texas and at UCLA. No, I'm sorry. We have one loss the same. I've got them losing at Utah, at UCLA, and at home against Notre Dame. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm with you. That so, UCLA, or that, that Utah game, that'll be a Pac-12 after dark game. That's where you need to look out. For Utah doing some Pac-12 after dark craziness. I like Utah this year a lot. Wait, let's go on and jump into them. Utah. Okay. 6-6 six and six in 2017. They're over under in 2018-7. seven. They are minus 145 to go over the seven. Seven starters back on offense, four on defense. Kyle Whittingham took over for Meyer at Utah 14 years ago. He is the 
third longest tenured coach in college football. They replaced three out of four on the defensive line, which is usually their their strong point, right? Quarterback Tyler Huntley returns. He should improve as long as he can stay healthy. If he if he can go a season without missing games, they should be all right. Running back Zach Moss is back, along with four out of five on the offensive line. They got three out of five in the secondary back, including cornerback uh, Julian Blackman. He is awesome. That guy is unreal. Schedule sets up for a run at the Pac-12 South with Washington, Arizona, USC, and Oregon all at home. I've got them losing to – I've got them 8-4. and four. Got them losing to Washington, at Stanford, USC, and at UCLA. But I got them beating everybody else. I got them 8-4 as well. I don't know where we're different at the losses so much. But, yeah, I got Washington, Washington State, Stanford, and uh, da, 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 UCLA. There you go. Yeah, I I like Utah. I like Utah a lot. They're a tough team. Awesome. Tough I, team. I, I think they're the toughest team in this conference. Like You're probably physically, right. Physically, just man-on-man toughness, I think they are the toughest. Who you got one in the division? U, uh, USC. That's, I got the same thing. USC nine and three, Washington ten and two. I've got I've got the loss. same thing. I've got the same championship game. USC and Washington. I've got USC winning. So you said so you said you don't know what you think about Todd Helton, Clay Helton. Clay Helton. I'm sorry. Yeah, I I think he's a good coach. I think he's, I, do, I think he's fine. Like this is the conversation of him. And, like I'm not comparing him to David Shaw. He doesn't have the resume David Shaw does. He's not as good of a coach as David Shaw, but like. Like he's a really good coach. Does he belong in the top ten of college football? No, no. But, but he's, they're going to recruit coach. at USC really well. And if you're a good coach that is consistent, you're fine. Yeah, I agree. I like him a lot. I agree. Right, that is the Pac-12 South.